everybody! I'm here today to show you how to do long division. This will be an easy tutorial with some easy examples that you can look at to figure out how to do long division properly and easily. Let's get right into the video. So first and foremost, we're going to write down the equation. Let's say I wanted to do 368 divided by 16, okay? So just like this. So I'm going to write it down. 368 divided by 16, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it down in the long division format. So it's gonna look something like this, okay? I'm gonna put the smaller number on the outside, which would be 16. I'm gonna draw this symbol right here. Then I'm gonna do 368, okay? Very simple. So now that we have this, we need to basically start by taking the equation and working from left to right, okay? So we're gonna work from left to right, and we gotta figure out how many times this number right here, the smaller number, can go into this number. So start with the left number, three over here. Can 16 go into three? So 16 times one is already 16, which is higher than three. So that's not gonna work, okay? We're already too high. What about the next, the first two numbers? So 36. How many times can 16 be multiplied without going over 36? Okay, so we wanna make sure we're not going over 36. So if I go over here and I do, let's say I do uh, 16, so I'm gonna just do it up here off to the side, okay? Six, oh, we'll do it over here. 16 times two, okay? Uh, sorry, 16 times one is gonna be 16. 16 times two is gonna be uh, 32. And then 16 times three is gonna be 48. Now 32 is small enough because it's less than 36, but 48 is too big. So 16 times two is 32. That's the number that we're working with here, okay? So 16 multiplied by two, I'm gonna put the two up here, okay? Because I'm doing 36, so it's towards the six over here, above the six. So 16 times two is 32, I'm gonna write 32, okay? Now we subtract, 36 minus 32 is four over here, okay? So what we have there is a four. What we're gonna do is take the remaining number, bring it down beside the remainder number over here, beside the four, which is an eight. So now we have 48. We already know that 16 times three is 48, okay? So that brings us to this number precisely. So 16 times three is 48. So we're gonna write down 48 and subtract it. 48 minus 48 is zero, so there's zero remainder. So 16, so 360 divided by 16 is 23. That's our answer. So we multiply this number to figure out what, we're, what goes into here. So I'm gonna do another example. This one is gonna actually have a remainder. So we're gonna do, uh, we'll do 198 divided by 15. So I'm gonna go over here. Uh, let's make sure this is on camera, yeah. So we have 198 divided by 15, okay? Now obviously you should already know this is a nice simple equation, but we're gonna put the small number on the outside, 15, then 198 over here. Can 15 go into one? No, we can't divide one by 15, it doesn't make sense. What about the first two numbers, the 19? Can we divide 19 by 15? Well, 15 times one is 15, and 15 times two is 30. 15 goes into 19, that can make it. 30 is too big, so 15 times one is what we're looking at. So 15 times one, we're gonna put the one up here, above the nine, above the rightmost number that we're working with, okay? 15 times one is 15, subtract, 19 minus 15 is four, bring down the eight over here, okay? The eight goes beside the four, we have 48 now. So once again, 15 times one is 15, 15 times two is 30, 15 times three is gonna be 45, 15 times 4 is 60. 60 is too much, but 45 is just enough that it's right below 48, okay? You want to get exactly the number or close to it, but not above. So 15 times 3 is 45 is the number that we're working with now. So 15 times 3, as you can see, is 45. I minus 45 from 48, which leaves me with 3. 3 can no longer go into 15, 15 can't go into 3, uh, 15 is much bigger than 3, so 3 is what's left over, which is the remainder. So remainder 3, as you can see, remainder 3. So the answer for 198 divided by 15 is 13, remainder 3, 3 is left over. That's it, that is how to do long division. It's really simple, really easy, and I've shown you how to do it with these easy examples to follow along with. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.